गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ साइंस तो दिस वीडियो इज द कंटिन्यूशन पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर फोर सॉर्टिंग मटेरियल्स इनटू ग्रुप्स एंड इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर ऑलरेडी डन विद एन ऑब्जेक्ट मे बी मेड अप ऑफ डिफरेंट मटेरियल्स और डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स दैट कैन बी मेड अप ऑफ सेम मेटेरियल एंड ऑल्सो एन ऑब्जेक्ट दैट मे बी मेड अप ऑफ ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ मेटेरियल so to decide which material should be used for making a given object we need to study the properties of different materials so today we will know about properties of different materials so before i start i like to request you all again to keep your book along with you yes so that you will be able to understand the topic properly so let's start so properties of materials a property of materials is a description of the characteristics which it has they are adjectives which tell us about the materials materials have different properties and characteristics depending on what they are used for some materials are hard others are soft some are strong others are weak so students we use metals like copper or aluminum to make utensils yes for cooking purpose so we never use paper for making such utensils yes have you ever seen a paper utensils your mummy is cooking in a paper utensils no yes because paper catch fires yes paper catch fire which uh, when it is placed on the burner of a gas stove so hence we choose a material to make an object depending on its properties or depending on its purpose for which the object is to be used so let us study some of the properties of material that would be imported for your use so number 1 is appearance materials that have luster are usually metals example iron copper aluminum gold are examples of metals materials like paper cardboard wood etc do not have luster so materials usually look different from each other like see wood look uh, different from leather leather look different from plastic plastic look different from metals and metals look different from glass and glass look different from paper so this all looks different from each other like this aluminum copper and iron have some common characteristics which are not present in like a uh, wood leather plastic yes so let us uh, know in a better way so what is lustrous and what is non lustrous so the special kind of shine present on materials okay or uh, that chamak okay shine that they are called as luster okay so materials like iron copper aluminum or silver gold all these are called as lustrous material okay and materials like paper wood plastic cotton which do not have any shine on them or which do not have any luster on them they are called as non lustrous materials like see paper and cotton they don't have any sign on them any chamak on them then they, that's why they are called as non lustrous materials see usually metals are lustrous for example like gold silver due to their lustrous nature they are used in making jewelry because they have the shine and some metals often lose their shine and appear uh, because of the action of air and moisture on them so we therefore notice the luster only on their freshly cut surface okay so next we have is hardness so materials which can be compressed or scraped easily are called soft like example iron materials which are difficult to compress are called hard example cotton or sponge yes so like 
if you will take a piece of sponge or an iron rod or you will take a soft toy or you will take your uh, an iron rod you will when you will try to compress both what do you observe obviously you can say easily that um, you can easily compress the sponge but an iron rod cannot be compressed easily yes so the materials that can be compressed are called soft materials okay for an example like teddy bear okay and foam or melted wax all these are soft materials and the materials that cannot be compressed are called hard materials most metals such as like iron copper aluminum all these are hard because of this the quality of hardness metals are used to make household utensils and factory equipment okay next we have is soluble and insoluble so what is soluble some substance have completely dissipated or dissolved in water such substance are called soluble substance and other substance do not mix with water and do not disappear even after wasted for a long time these substance are insoluble in water so just like take a glass okay or a beaker and fill 3/4 of it with clean water okay and half a spoonful of sugar in it stir the content with the spoon wait for a few minutes and observe you find that sugar has disappeared so this shows that sugar dissolves in water or sugar is soluble in water okay and now taste the water what do you find you will find the water taste sweet yes this is because sugar is still there in the water but its particles have become so small that and we have spread uniformly in water that we cannot see them okay now again take a another glass of beaker and you will fill 3/4 of it with water and add a half a spoon of sand in it okay half a spoon of sand in it and stir the content with a spoon and what you love sir now you will find that the sand settles down at the bottom of the beaker and thus we can say that sand doesn't dissolve in water or sand is insoluble in water okay basically this solid materials that dissolved in water are said to be soluble in water okay and solid materials that do not dissolve in water are said to be insoluble in water so next is transparency so transparent or transparency those substance or materials through which things can be seen are called as transparent like glass water air some plastics okay and what is opaque there are some materials which we are not able to see these materials are called as opaque so example wood cardboard metals and translucent the materials through which object can be seen but not clearly are known as translucent like oil patch on paper so just hold a glass tumbler in front of your eyes okay and see through it you can see all the objects through it yes and the materials through which we can see the object clearly are called as transparent materials and these property of materials is called transparency so glass is a transparent material and some more example of transparent materials are like water air 
and uh, cell phone paper and some kind of plastic bottles are also transparent okay so now what is opaque object so you uh, hold uh, an apple in front of your eyes can you see through it no you cannot because the materials through which we cannot see the object at all are called as opaque materials and this property of materials is called opaqueness okay like metals books apple wood are some example of opaque materials so we keep our things enclosed i don't almira so that they cannot be seen yes through which we can see the object next we have is translucent object so translucent objects are an object through which we can see the object partially are called as translucent materials or translucent objects okay and this property of materials is called as translucent translucency so butter paper is a translucent materials or uh, frosted glass tissue paper all these are translucent materials or translucent objects so this is all about properties of materials there are many properties of materials hope it is clear to you all thank you